Okay, guys, I'm up here for a quick uh, video. It wasn't one that was planned, but I figured I'd talk about it. Specifically, the new Kingdom Hearts 3 D23 2017 trailer. This is at not a reaction video. Uh, I'm I'm because from my phone I can't splice in the viewer reaction of it. But I will tell you this: everything I talk about and what I do say is a real thing about how I saw and how I reacted when I saw this trailer. Yes, I'm becoming a guy now who apparently reviews trailers. I have a, I guess I become a nerd. Even though I'm talking about a video game. But anyway, uh, this trailer starts, I guess they wanted to troll. Because they showed the last trailer with some text going over it, and then the text starts. And they go into the world. And it was a world that, I, that a lot of us thought would never be in Kingdom Hearts. Because the first thing you get is Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story isn't going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. And on top of that, it looks like the movie. I guess the thing about having Pixar in your game is you're going to get real, like, almost Pixar-like things in a movie. Uh, in a, in a video game, because that's what it is. Buzz and Woody look exactly like they do in the movie. That, I don't. And, to be honest, I think that's why this game was not even announced until 2013. is because they were waiting for the PS4. They were waiting for technology that can support what they wanted to do. Because it's clear from what we've gotten so far that they wanted this game to be huge. They wanted the world in this game to be massive. And the PS3 cannot support these kind of things. You know, and really, this trailer is part cutscene. Yeah, it's part cutscene. A good half of it is cutscenes. Uh, and all that. So, if you're putting cutscenes in trailers, the game is probably pretty high in development if you can put a full cutscene in a trailer. But, so then we get some gameplay. And by the way, we also find out that apparently you can have five people total in your party that's counting Sora. Because Buzz and Woody are both in your party for this. And, it's, and you see this thing where it starts on the roof and it goes into Andy's driveway in one very fluent motion, and you see Sora doing the dive thing, and he does this diving swipe with his keyblade at the Heartless. That is <laughs> so good. And the most realistic-looking grass I've ever seen in anything, whether it be video games or film, the most realistic-looking gra realistic grass I have ever seen. I've never seen grass look that realistic. <laughs> Other than outside my house. Or my apartment. Uh... And they and they go to inside a toy store, which has giant mechs, and Sora can get into a giant mech now, and all that. And then you see young Xehanort and him talking about something, uh, and whatnot. And then it cuts to Kingdom Hearts three, but that and that alone would satisfy people. But we got what most people were suspecting, or at least I was speculating. Why would we get another Kingdom Hearts three trailer in a year? When we got two in the same year, when we generally only got one. Well, at the very end, you see that it says, Coming 2018. Which means this game is coming next year. Which, I kind of said at 2013, at the earliest, it would be, I would be late 2017, or 2018 at the very earliest. I never fell into the 2019 or 2020 camp, because for them to announce it at E3 2013, even if Nomura said that it was announced too early, that means it would have had it been in development for a good five years, i.e. since 2012, possibly even before that. Five years is more than enough time to get any game out. Now, is there a worry about being delayed? Sure, there's a worry about it being delayed, but as far as I know, the only Kingdom Hearts game ever delayed was zero was a 2.8. And that delay was only a month anyway. It was supposed to come out December of last year. It came out in January of this year. As far as I know, it was only a month delay. So, I, that would not be there if Nomura did not think this game would be out by 2018. It would not be there. And my best estimate will be at least fall or winter 2018. 
unless they're really, really, really far along, then it's jam- then it's like in the first quarter of 2018. But I think it'll be after physical year 2000 till physical year 2018 ends, which is I think next March or April for Square Enix. So yeah, um, <laughs> this is the only thing that I really am bothering. I had no, I was not planned. I saw this video because till I saw this trailer, it was just an amazing. That's the closest thing I've ever had to fanboying in my life, and. It is unbelievable for me to say that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've never been more hyped for any game. <laughs> and there's always a chance that it... But with me, Kingdom Hearts has never failed not to live up to the hype with me. Now, listen, they're not, it's not for everybody. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying... And I'm not... A, and I don't even post Kingdom Hearts related news. Uh, I, I do know my first video on this channel was, uh, a review of Kingdom Hearts 1.5, I believe, so I've done that, but other than that, I haven't really talked about Kingdom Hearts much, so, there you go, that's a quick review, if you will, of the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, the D23 2017 trailer, and... I honestly can't wait till 2018 to get here. <laughs> so, if you like the video, like button down there, subscribe button down there. Thank you for watching. Bye.